A serving minister and a Labour MP are among a dozen people targeted by a honey trap scandal in which sexually explicit messages and images were sent via WhatsApp to try and lure users in. Calling themselves Abby or Charlie, the sender claims they used to work in Parliament. Now, for more of this, I thought he was leaving, but no, he's not. He's got an exclusive. Aubrey Allegretti, chief political correspondent for The Times. You are busy. You have literally, this second, just made some revelations. You better explain what's happening and what you found out. Yeah, so for the last sort of 24, 48 hours, Westminster has been awash with rumour about this mysterious person who has managed to get lots of very senior MPs' phone numbers approach them with sort of chatty lines saying, hey, it's been ages since we last caught up, how are you? Pretending that they knew this person and that they once met in a parliamentary bar, probably over a few drinks, before going on then to send them some uh, indecent images and then requesting some back. And obviously this has caused quite a lot of a stir. There's been suggestions that it might be the result of a, a sort of hostile foreign state trying to, you know, gather compromat on MPs. But we've managed to reveal tonight that, um, very strangely involved in all of this, is a Conservative MP himself. William Ragg, the MP for Hazel Grove, he spoke to me earlier and he said that he had provided some of his colleagues' phone numbers to a person that he met online on a gay dating app called Grindr. And he exchanged messages with this person. He exchanged some pictures with this person as well. They then started asking him for MPs' phone numbers he says he provided some, not all. Um, but obviously the damage that this is going to cause to him is quite significant. He does say that he is so sorry and that he was scared because the individual had compromising things on me. Leicestershire Police are investigating a complaint, we believe, been submitted by an MP. But there'll also probably be an investigation by the Conservative Party whips as well. OK, so we can now confirm that none of this was perpetrated by overseas uh, organisations. This isn't an infiltration and a sort of uh, honeypot uh, scheme by, you know, whether it's by Chinese or Russians or anybody else. This is homegrown, old-fashioned, uh, almost a sensational story that you could have, you know, written up in some kind of um, almost fantasy. I didn't really believe it at first, and I have to say there were sort of victims, people who had been approached by this person online, who were starting to get suspicious of William Ragg. And it was then that I approached him after we'd had some evidence and he confessed to being involved. Now, obviously, he's just providing the phone numbers to this unknown third party. We don't know how he's been uh, used in this situation or who he's been used by. So the true identity of whoever Charlie or Abby is remains unknown. But I do have uh, pictures of the person, their WhatsApp profile picture and pictures that they sent of themselves to these MPs, um, so we're digging into that to find out if we can find out more about them. So, is it an offence to hand somebody's telephone number over to a third party? So, I believe the uh, offence that is being looked into by uh, Leicestershire Police is malicious communication, so not necessarily the kind of act of handing over a phone number, but probably the contents of the messages exchanged. If you and what the, so, the, so the means, so if somebody has almost forced you to hand over that number because they perhaps have something on you, then there's a case to answer. Exactly. And so, obviously, we don't know what the police... what sort of action the police might take at this stage, but it is likely to be something that the parliamentary authorities investigate. They sent out an email tonight to all MPs and staffers saying they were working with the government to sort of assess what potential security risk there was here. But some of those I spoke to today really did say, you know, handing out ministers' numbers is is a national security risk. And they feel that this was a very, very uh, poor piece of judgment by William Ragg. Uh, it certainly seems to be. Uh, just before I let you go, uh, do you think he'll step down as a result of this? It's hard to say. I mean, he said he's going to quit at the next general election anyway, and we saw how much sort of frustration there was when there was a by-election in Kingswood caused by completely different circumstances. But what I'm ultimately, I think, trying to say is, uh, you know, some MPs might decide that we're so close to the election now that actually it's best to hold off.